Snagit is my favorite screen capture tool and I use it almost every day at work. Today, we're going to take a look at Snagit, go over how to use the tool, and discuss what's new in 2022. If you don't already have a copy of Snagit and would like to follow along as I demonstrate how to use this tool, you can go to techsmith.com and download a free trial. I have a link included in the description below this video. To get started, we're going to take a look at the Snagit Capture tool. I'm going to open it from my toolbar, and here you have a few choices. You can use it as an all-in-one tool that lets you choose whether or not to capture video or image each time you select capture. You can have it set to image only, or you can have it set to video only. I usually have mine set to image only, and occasionally I will turn on the time delay which allows me to specify how many seconds it will be until the capture tool becomes active. This is very helpful when I am trying to capture a drop down menu that goes away as soon as my mouse moves. One of the features that is new in 2022 from the video settings is the ability to capture your webcam at the same time as the screen. So let's take a look at how that works. I've opened up a web browser and I'm going to activate the capture tool. I'll use the crosshairs to determine which piece of the screen I want to record. And then you'll see a toolbar, which I'm moving to the center of the screen to make it easier to view. I will click on the webcam icon to make sure that the correct webcam is selected, as well as make sure that my preferred microphone is selected and then I can begin recording the screen. One of the cool things about Snagit 2022 is you can move the webcam around and you can size it as you go so that it doesn't obscure any important information in your video. When you are done recording, you will hit stop and the Snagit editor will open. Because we captured video, there is a play bar which includes a trim tool. Therefore, I can play back part of the video and see if I need to cut anything out. So for example, in this video, I actually made a mistake and stuttered here in the video. So what I can do is I can use this trim tool and cut out the section where I made a mistake. If I need to do more than trim the video, then I will put the footage in Camtasia where I have more editing tools available. Now let's take a look at my favorite part of Snagit and that is capturing images and editing them. I have the capture tool open and I'm going to take a screenshot of this Teams meeting to include in a student handout that I am creating for an upcoming class. The Snagit editor automatically opens when you take your screenshot. A new feature in 2022 is the Snag X file type, which allows you to share your screenshots between Mac and Windows computers. With prior versions of Snagit, this was not possible. Speaking of sharing files, in the 2022 version of the software, you can choose to save your images to OneDrive for Business. The reason I love this update is that I work on multiple computers depending on if I'm working from home or from the office. No matter where I am, the images are ready to use. There are a lot of tools available in Snagit, and I am going to demonstrate some of my favorites by making changes to this screenshot. First, let's take a look at the shape tool. In this example, I want to draw a red rectangle around specific tabs in this screenshot to call the student's attention to the chat tab, the meeting notes, and the attendance roster. Next, let's take a look at the selection tool. This option allows me to move or remove certain parts of the screen. In this case, I want to remove the word Microsoft Teams from the banner at the top of the screenshot. In the tool properties, you will want to make sure that autofill is turned on. Then I will use my mouse to select the area I want to remove and then hit delete on my keyboard. Because we selected autofill, Snagit matched the purple background and now nobody can tell there was ever the words Microsoft Teams in the banner. The next option I am going to demonstrate is step. 
I use this when I need to call out actions that need to be done in a specific order. The cutout tool is useful when you need to remove a part of your screenshot. You can choose between a clean cut, a wavy cut, or a shark tooth cut. The option you choose is a style preference. Do you want the viewer to know that something has been cut out or to look like it never existed? The last option I'm going to demonstrate is the blur tool. When you select this, you can go to the quick styles area and decide if you want to blur or pixelate some of your screenshot. Once I have selected my choice, I can use my mouse to draw over the area that I want to obscure. There are a lot of cool tools that you can use in Snagit beyond the ones that I have shown you. I hope you'll go check this out and then leave me a comment about which tool is your favorite. Snagit is a tool that I use almost every single day and so do a lot of my coworkers. I upgrade my subscription every single year because I'm a tech junkie and I like to play with the bells and whistles of the tools that I own, but not all of my coworkers are like that. If I were going to suggest a time to upgrade, it would be now. And the reason for that is because the SnagX file is going to allow us to share our screenshots cross-platform, plus the ability to save to OneDrive for Business is going to make our workflow a lot smoother. Also, the webcam in the recordings is a nice little touch so that we can see each other. We've been working from home a lot lately, and it's been a while since we've seen each other in person. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.